typo. This is lesson 192. And uh, I thought, well, I'd, I'd have a trip back. We had to spend some time with my daughter and, and son-in-law down in Rye Harbour. Beautiful spot. Beautiful spot. And uh, this time we, we uh, Dave and I, we went to went to walk the the nature reserve near the point, looking across to uh, Winchelsea, and the sun was setting. And I thought, wow, I must I must share that one with you. So uh, let's have a go and see how we go. The colours I'm using today, my usual colours, but instead of a weak mix of yellow and crimson, let's have a normal mix of it, okay? So, right, we'll, we'll, we'll move that out of the way and give it a bit of space. And uh, that's that's the picture. It's, it's, a, it's a sort of a, a nature reserve. It's, it's a, not, not a nudist thing. It's, it's, a, it's for birds, you know, flying birds. <laughs> And this, this wall, this, the water from the sea has been allowed to flood into here, and it makes a lovely, lovely, lovely spot for the birds in that wind. Chelsea on the on the border there, and then we're standing in, on the point at Rye Harbour here. So let, let, let's get cracking. Let's. It's, it's a sunset. So we've got some clean water. This is my two-inch flat, which has covered everything. Scepter gold, which I've, I've used for years. These scepter gold, they've been good friends to me. And they were supplied to me by uh, when, I, when I did a lot of work with uh, Winter Newton, the art people. I did a lot of their shows and that, and uh, and I used their equipment, and 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 I fell in love with their brushes so, and, and their artist quality paint it's lovely that's uh that, well it's not a commercial or anything like that. it's just that it, and it is that's how it is and i thought well we would we, give it a wash of water on there and then let's let's just put some paint on there and see what see what happens shall we some sunshine in there first This is a roti in it. I want to... Before I do anything else, I'll put it down. I want to make a bit of a hole where the the sun was about about there. I just screw that up there. That'll do fine. Right. And uh, I'll put some. This is uh, ultramarine burnt timber at the top here, just the dark sky. I don't want to go too far down. dry up and sort it out. That sun sun's filled up again so I've got to sort that out. I haven't fronted it, haven't I? Of course we'll get that this down here as well. The reflection. I want to put some uh, alizarin crimson into this.
Right. Hit my sunshine again. Not too wouldn't you? I'll sort that out. Bit more of that dark on the top. It's not dark enough for me. setting sun this one bring some down here sunshine back Right, uh, I've been let that dry a bit now. It's it's a bit too a bit too wet for me. Sun out again. I think we'll just get a number six brush to sort of tie that up. So a bit of a glow around there. Number six this black, this, this folks. Right, we'll draw that now. Right, let's draw now. Just let me know, have a look at things and see, see if I, I, I want to improve it at all. Uh, I think it should be a bit darker at the top there, so I'm going to use a number 10 brush, come down a bit on, on size, and, and darken this, this top of it, just, just here. It's, it's, too, it's too nice.
bit smaller brush now, number six. the night's on its way. I don't show one or two uh, these, these fingers of, of dark come across. I want to show some we're catching the, the underside of these clouds with with a, with a red glow. Well, I love experimenting like this. Let's see the alizarin crimson now. Let's see if we can pop in, in the, to, on, 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 the, on the underside there like that. It's catching the catching the last rays of the right the light. See, just just flicking it in. these dark lines and I said the, 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 the dark's coming so I'm, I'm going to put a little bit more, bit, bit more of this dark in here. red on the underside of that. And I think we can we can leave that sky for a bit now I think. Right. That's the sky done. <clears throat> well, that's dry now. Uh, now, I said, Winchelsea, you were looking across the Winchelsea, uh, there's the church there. In fact, uh, we'll get this land, land mass in first and let's see, what, see where we go from there, shall we? hilly around here, you wouldn't believe how, how as you get towards Winchester, Winchelsea, it's, it's a real hill, it is, it's, it's on a hill. And we'll put this, this distant landscape in if you like. And th I think the church is about there, but there's, there's also a building just here as well which are I'm picking out. And uh, while I'm painting this, of course, in, in, this, in the uh, churchyard at uh, Winchelsea, in, 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 the, in the church there, uh, there's a grave of uh, Spike Milligan. Quite, quite interesting. A real character, wasn't he? 
the, the goons and all that. But the, the church was about there, so I put the church in. Only a silhouette, of course. Yes, I, 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 I can't remember what the... the it says something on, on the information, if, if we can remember, I don't know. Uh, I told him I was ill. <laughs> He's a funny man to the end, he was. Of course, a lot of you young, young people, what, 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 what am I talking about? I'm, I'm talking to oldies like me. There's the hill. And of course, in front here, there's water, and there's, there's, there's grasslands and, and, and all things like that, so we better put some of that in as well. Better dry that a bit. Don't just Right, that's dry. Uh, I think we're putting some of these these the land the land portions of, of this flooded area. If that's the best best thing I can say about it. But it's, it's got to be sort of it's just dark. The sea's taking it over well, and the, the birds have really taken to it. it it's unbelievable. It, it really is a, a lovely, lovely place to go and see. And from where, where I'm standing, behind me, is a, is a sort of a like a, a nature centre, which is which is dedicated to the to the to the, the flooded flooded area. You know, it's uh, the birds and all that. It's fantastic. It really is. You must go and visit it. Well worth a trip. Right. Well, this brush is getting a bit big for that, so I'm going to put that down a bit. Like a smaller brush. Before I do, that'll do. I think they come in from this side as well. It's quite a bit of water. I'm trying to capture what, what was what was land and what, what, what was water. It's the split of the water come on. The fingers of this came across.
Actually, it's, it's a bit, there's not a lot in this picture apart from the sunset. It's, uh, I just realise it's, but it's nice to capture the sun now and again. Cut some of this out, so you don't want to wash all this. And then what I want to do is bring this 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 forward. It's uh, it's quite dark at the front there. Just here. It was dark while we're standing on that because. Uh, You have to stand on something. There's not there's not a lot of hills around this bit, it's 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 all flat and that. Of course, there's, 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 there's like grasses on this this area where we're standing, so I better put one or two grasses in, right? To, or it'll look like uh, some some weedy stuff stuff here coming up here, and there's grasses in this bit as well. But it's it's, it's just a, it's a flooded field, really. There's a lot of work gone into it, other than just a flooded field, but. Uh, I'm just trying to simplify things and until it what it actually is. Full of the seawater. And the birds love it. They do love it. They most of them flock to it. There's weebles, weebles, wobbles, and I'm not well up on birds, but there's uh, oyster catchers and, and, and skylarks, and I love skylarks. I, when I used to paint, they, they, there was Skylarks galore there was, and uh, of course, as, as time goes by, they, they, they seem to die or something, or just, just they go into, into extinction, from where I was anyway. Now also on this, this, this painting, there was a, just about here, if I can see it, there was like a Post, uh, it's it's. I think it's a guiding post for the ships and stuff like that. So I, I better pop that in as well. I know I twiddle about it there, but I'm messing about and. I'll put this post in. I'll dry that first, and then put this post in. Right, try now. Uh, the, the, I'll put this post in that uh, that was on the sketch, if I can find it. I think it's, I can't see it now, but I think it was about here. I think 
so anyway, so yeah, so I'll pop him in. I'll break the horizon with him. And it had like a funny thing on the top, so I'm going to try and put that funny thing on. Don't ask me what it is, I don't know. It's, 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 it's a funny thing. Brush for a little brush. I mean, got it a funny thing brush. See if I can get it to. It to look like a funny thing. It's like a little cage. I mean, I'm, I'm sure the, the the nautical people and the sailors will, will know all about it, but I'm, 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 I'm sure I don't know what it is. But, but at least I put it in, then you know you know what it's at. It sits on top of there like a cage. Look there like that. Is, but I'm sure that the, the people that were sailing then and, and they say, oh yes, it's a, it's a wiggle pin thing, but, but I don't know what it is, but it, it, it was there and I, I like it because what it does, it, it gives this this foreground and then shoves that into the background. And that's the idea. And that, I think with the nature is there, we would have some birds, didn't we? You know, it's uh, in these rooms with birds. They're probably in silhouettes at this time of night, but uh, that's all we can come up with. Uh, I'll put them across, across here, that's right. Better drain it first, because it's... They're in the distance, these folks. They're flying. They, 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 I said they could be oyster catchers because they, they seem to fly in group, groups like this small group and they screech as they go along. It's a uh, racket they make. I'll put another couple in. A couple in the background here that's, uh, that's trying to catch up. Very 
tiny these, so I'm not too. I'm at a stage where you're looking for things to do and, and it's a simple painting and I want to keep it simple. I don't want to sort of uh, have it so <laughs> putting things in that, that just to try and make, make it work. Let, let's just close it down and see what we've got. That is uh, Rye Harbour Nature Reserve looking across to Win Chelsea. It's, it's a beautiful spot. If you can go, go and have a look. And uh, in fact, I do want to ask, I'm, I'm, I'm missing about here, but uh, ooh, let's try and put one or two just, just on, on the water, shall we? Just to say a group just here. And it's having a twill, one or two little ones behind him, how's that? Tiny ducks, ducklings, that's what they call them. That'll do, I'm starting messing about now. So, uh, I enjoyed that little, little, little uh, sunset. Uh, and that's, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, it's, 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 it's a quickie, let's have a go at it. It's a nice easy one for anyone to have a go at. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. And don't forget to sort of subscribe and, 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 and tick and, and, and please share, because if you share, uh, other people can enjoy it as well and then they can join us as well so until next time folks it's goodbye so goodbye <laughs>